Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, like, you know. And the next fight, though, and I get it, it's in Australia, but shit, it's a, it, 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 it was just, like, late as fuck, too, because, like, the time, is, is, it, it was, it was really at, what, 10 or 10.30 or whatever the fuck, and they had even, and it, it was airing some other fight that wasn't supposed to be on the main card. Of course, I'm talking about the Tim Zhu Brian Mendoza card, and I'm just like, because then the niggas didn't even fight until, like, it was, like, probably past 12.30 or some shit like that. Dude, that fight wasn't over until, like, after, like, like way after 1. Yeah, bro, like, I was dozing off, and honestly, like, I'm kind of through with these goddamn Australian cards. Y'all never put together any quality card down under, like, <laughs> like I don't think I've seen a quality Australian card since goddamn, well, Costa Zoo or Robbie Peden or some shit like, <laughs> like you had to go years back. Because I mean, they, they, they I know they only, only supposed to the call me, but goddamn, they were showing some trash ass fight in the fourth round that started. Like, what the fuck was that? About? Yeah, like, oh my god, like that shit was annoying me. Like, yeah. like nigga, y'all, y'all got some little uh, kangaroo pogs and shit. Like, but that yeah. ain't enough. Yeah, you might as well let the talking heads talk and you know show reruns. Air of Zoo knocking. They don't even do that fucking right. Remember the goddamn last Zoo fight? They instead of showing a uh, 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 fucking uh, uh, previews and, and, and clips of goddamn in a way his opponent, they show an Epo. What the fuck? <laughs> like nigga, like <laughs> like I don't know, man. Just if y'all niggas they gonna go to the main event when they walk into the ring, like I, I don't want. I, I probably won't stay up for that motherfucker no more. Like y'all, y'all had it. Like, I'm over it. Like, and I mean, the co-man, I mean, the co-man was entertaining for what it was, though. The only disappointment was Sam Goodman not getting uh, Miguel Flores out of there. Because I thought he was going to get him out of there when he dropped him, like, the ninth round. Like, bro, landed, like, like a mean combination to drop him. And, you know, he, he couldn't he couldn't finish him off. Pause. You know, so it's just like, <laughs> I had to put it in there, son. This is two, it's 2023, bro. You know what I'm saying? So... But I mean, Sam Goldman like is it's gonna be a good addition to the well, uh, to the Super Bantamweight division. Like, bro, like bro was punishing for us with that jab, like, like really punishing, and and, and you know, and, and land some nice one twos and shit like that. But I was like, God damn, and you know, the body shots too. Both Flores and him were landing some some ridiculous body shots. But I was thinking to myself, damn, Flores should have been put out of there though. But I guess sometimes you can't. Help, I mean, sometimes you just can't get can't, you can't get him out of there. So. I mean, it went the full 12 rounds. You know, Goodman won that shit loud. Yeah, every co-main before a fucking zoo fight go 12. Wasn't that a featherweight? You said super bantamweight. I'm like, wasn't that a featherweight? It was feather. No, it was 122, I think. That's pretty much. No, I thought it was 126. I think he, I, th I thought that was a 126 fight. I mean, they probably did the whole fucking. You know, you can weigh like a pound or two over that bullshit. Like, oh you know, yeah, but, but, but I mean, I know Goodman beat a lead at 122, so I know. Yeah, so them, them cats are super bantams to me. I mean, yeah. watching, I watch some of that. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm looking at it right now. It was a, it was a featherweight bout. It was wow, it was weird. That's weird. That's weird. Hmm. I mean, e either way, I, I mean, I wasn't mad if I, but I think the only thing I was just mad because it, it was like it was like 11:30 or midnight or some shit like that fight was going on. I was just like that wasn't the type of that fight. Was drag, that, that, yeah. that's, that's a drag. drag. I, like I, honestly, I, it ruined the vibe. I expected Goodman to get a KO because that dude Flores got stopped by two. I don't say bums, but two like jobbers, you know. You got stopped by two jobbers. I was like, come on, man. Like, did he get stopped by LSC too? <laughs> so, like, yeah, he got stopped by LSC and two jobbers. Yeah, LSC and two jobbers. So I was like, yeah, so, Flores has been around for so long. Like, if you go into war with this dude, it's just no, like, I mean, he, yeah. he fought well, but watching him, like, okay, in a way, it's going to spark, we'll spark him in like five. You know what I mean? I was watching that fight. I was like, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, really yeah. Spark him easy. Bad. You know, but then, um, but then afterwards, the, uh, once we got to the main event, I got to say, though, the Australians don't know how they know how to do a ring entrance though, because both of them, you know, both of them came into some good shit though. Like, yeah, yeah, they did, they yeah. did. Like they, like they went all out and shit like that. It was on and, that west side. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah, and, and I gotta say now, Alexa, this is why I would say Charlo's probably fucked up by not taking the Tim fight when he should have took it, because I think Tim Zoo is maturing into a really dangerous fighter, like, yeah. like super dangerous. <laughs> Like I, I mean, like like in this fight, like you really get you you really. I say that like, because dude fights so much like his father. Like even that, even the, the the really deceptive power. Like 
Dude is throwing punches that doesn't seem doesn't look like it has a lot of, not of steam on it, but you see Mendoza's fucking head. And his head is like getting snapped back, like sweat is coming off there. Like, he, hit, he hit Mendoza with like three uppercuts in a row. A triple yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, I see some shades. Uh, I, I want to ask Shutter and Pat. Do you guys, I know you guys are Triple G fans. Do you see any shades of some Triple G a little bit? I mean, I'm not saying he's Triple G, but I'm saying there's like the, the relentless smothering pressure fighter that kind of just. I honestly don't really see the Triple G in, in dude. I, I mean, and, I see a little bit. I see a little bit with that in his dad. I and, I, and I barely saw Triple G in, in like in Casa Zoo, like in or, or vice versa. Like they're like pretty much their own fighters. I still think Golovkin is like more skilled than both of them. Actually. No, 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 no. Golovkin is more crisp than skilled, but I just see a lot of the like, come forward, pre- you know, come forward with the pressure. Nah, nah. That's I, don't, I, I honestly don't see it. <laughs> a little bit. No, because, I mean, because Triple G at least, because Tim has actually gotten affected by someone actually punching. Like, I mean, I mean, the Gashaw fight pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not chin, he's Triple G. Chin. He's chinny. He's little, I mean, not chinny, but he's been, he'll get cracked. Then. Yeah, I mean, Gashaw cracked him. He went down. So it was like, I don't see that in the, like that pretty much is I can never look at him like a triple G type fighter, but doesn't mean I mean he offense does. he don't I mean, really I mean, offense is this element. I see that like, you know, him, you know, the certain certain guys have nah, I don't see it at all. I don't yeah. see it Yeah. Well, I mean I left like I see more of a zoo fighting like his father though. Like he's starting to in terms of like it's start like cause yeah, like dude I mean, dude isn't still an impressive uh pressure fighter, no no question. Like dude was like uh, it's like it seemed like Mendoza just you know Mendoza was just because once he tasted that power he was like he was kind of low key panicking he was like oh shit like what am I gonna do like I gotta fight back but every time he I mean he fought back you know like Zoo was lighting him up like big time you know like honestly like, most around that I think you know where he landed those three uppercuts from and it was the like seven or something yeah like because there was one round where Mendoza was getting ready to be taken up out of there or at least going down like I thought. It, that was going to happen. Yeah, the eleventh round. The eleventh round. Yeah, zombie round. chin, bro. That's you got a crazy zombie chin, man. Yeah, it, it, but yeah, yeah. Man, those has a chin in half because I don't know what kept him up. But he was, I mean, he was clearly getting affected by the shots. Like he was getting, like I mean, it wasn't like he, he was shaking him off. Like he was just fighting harder. Like every time he got rocked, he was just fighting harder. But it, 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 yeah. it was clear that dude was getting. Uh, he's gonna get the open. Yeah. It's not like the Fundora fight where. Fundora is a little leaky with the defense, so you can kind of put shots in there. But Zoo is it, more like the power is more unrelentless, and yeah, it's hard <laughs> to find the little gaps in the defense with with niggas like that. I feel like by the fourth round, Tim found his rhythm, like his timing. I don't know after the fourth. I don't say he downloaded the data, but kind of like by the fourth or fifth round, he seemed like he just kind of kind of found, you know figured it out. Yeah, he kind of like it, it's like okay, the the ball is the the snowball is down the uh, the hill now. Like it's a full blown avalanche. Like yeah, mm-hmm. like honestly, like if if you're going against Zoo, I feel like you should try to push him back early and don't let him get that fast start. Like right. everybody kind of seems to like automatically let them let him come to them mm-hmm. and kind of start fighting behind them. And I'm just looking at it like, man, go to this nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it was it, it was just uh, yeah, because like because once Zoo got into his rhythm, yeah, Mendoza Mendoza had nothing left. Like Mendoza just yeah. took, he took an uncomfortable beating. It wasn't career threatening or career ending, but it was clear it was one of those beatings where you might want to yeah. give him a little bit of a ninety days. For a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've seen worse beatings, but it was it was an ass whooping. Was, but I will say this: I think I think um, Mendoza can hang with most anybody at 154, 16. I, I, I feel like he's tough and he can hang with most. Yeah, of course. He's still like a top six, seven guy. Like, yeah. He, I feel like, he, like him, move up to 160, fight Elijah Garcia. That's a great fight. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I feel like he can hang whoa, with Oh, Whoa, whoa, chill, chill, bro. Or Lubin. How about, how about Lubin? Lubin versus, how about Lubin? Who wins? Lubin or Mendoza? Who wins? Uh, Lubin should win that. But it's like uh, none of these niggas looked all that good, so I'm I don't want to speak on these niggas. Like I'm good. Uh, as, as far as like nah, Mendoza need to stay at one fifty four. Like he like Elijah Garcia or like shit uh, Elijah Garcia. I feel like a beat zoo ass. Fuck that. about all that, man. I mean, it he's was- at one sixty and he does yeah, what Zoo does yeah, yeah. better actually. His defense is leaky as fuck, though, man. I, I like I like Elijah, but his defense we don't know we don't know we don't know what Zoo would look like at one sixty, and Zoo yeah, is true. not the most 
slick guy, he's hittable too. Yeah, it's just the thing is, niggas, niggas will be trying to throw at him like they, they do at Elijah Garcia. Maybe it's the opponents, but these niggas Garcia be fighting, they be trying to take his head off. Like they literally, Hell yeah. like they be trying like shit. Because I want like, but the niggas that Garcia beat was Zoo run through them. Yeah. We, we saw we saw um, Zoo get dropped by Gache. Imagine if uh, imagine if Elijah hit him with that same right hand. What I'm saying, like ever since then, ever since that he got dropped in that first 30 seconds of that fight, he's been looking like cream of the crop at 154. I'm just saying he's been looking. Like, no, no, but he hasn't like I, he he's fought great good fighters, but it's kind of like the whole. It's almost like how niggas fight Canelo and then they don't know what it is to box anymore. <laughs> right. It's it's kind of like that effect where it's like, like yeah, you fighting good guys, but for some reason they don't they give up when they fight you, and nobody's giving up yet fighting Gal- Garcia. Whereas Zoo, I'm not. I don't want to say niggas give up, but they just. Well, I think he's breaking these guys' wills. I mean, I, I mean, you gotta give him some props. Though. I feel like he's. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm giving him the props because he's doing what he's supposed to do, but. I don't think these niggas is giving they best like they best you can only I can only evaluate what, what they're doing toward him so but that considering that Zoo's still been looking good he's improved but remember the most gun shy, he improved after the most gun shy in the division fucking dropped him oh yeah, yeah, dro- d- cliche, yeah, yeah. so it's not like he got dropped by a, a, a killer he got dropped by one of the damn you know the killer that don't be talking to nobody at school and shit. He be in the corner like, he be like, oh that kid, yeah, yeah, the new guy. The killer that could probably be a killer if he just stick got the first gear half the time. Yeah, so th- that's all I'm saying. Like, it, you know, like Tony Harris, yeah, Tony Harrison, yeah, skilled, all of that, yeah, that, that, that had a career performance against Garcia, but then Zoo is like. Nigga stayed on the nigga backed up, just stayed on the ropes, wasn't trying to fight. Like, mm-hmm. like, so that's how I was just looking at it like that. Like, damn, like, and then got ate up. <laughs> yeah, got, got ate up with, with them fucking uppercuts again. Like, yeah, <laughs> the, the, mo- the best series of uppercuts I've seen since Gotti Domgard, RIP Gotti. Yeah, if y'all seen that fight, then you'll know Gotti had like 17 uppercuts on the, on the ropes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I, I still remember. I mean, I, 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 I Shit, I remember that fight like it's yesterday too, because that's like that's like that's Gotti's last win. That's like, like, yeah, and, and it was an entertaining fight too, because the dude kept cutting off the ring and he stayed in front of Gotti, yeah. so it made Gotti have to throw more. And, and one time Gotti was just like, "Fuck it!" Like, God damn it, yeah, what? Yeah, Gotti had a broken hand too, and he was throwing. He, and he had to throw heat at that guy. He did. He did. I think he did. And the oh, motherfucker, you gonna maybe pull out the VHS? Oh, yeah, for this he, fight. He, he, yeah, he got. He stopped him because dude. Yeah. Like, Dude looked like the fucking hunchback of Notre Dame, like out there. Like dude was out. Dude's face was all misshapen and shit. I still remember. Yeah, that. he was a Derby and Chenko before the Golovkin fight happened. <laughs> exactly. One of one of them toxic Avenger beatings. Like you're like, ooh. That, that, that was a broke the mop on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah. Oh, shout out to um uh Kang Song. What it do? Kang Song salute. RGR. What it do? Oh, Chris Graham. What it do? Pro Grail clown. Ah. I ain't gonna call the man a clown. Just, that was just some clown shit. That's all, you know. Yeah. Hey, someone like Jacob Pink is a fucking clown. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do clown shit consistently to, for me to call you a clown. You know, everybody got their clown moments, but you a clown twenty four seven? Then yeah, nigga, fucking clown. Right. Yeah. No. But uh, yeah, I mean, and, and like I said, Progress just trying to sell his fight, and you know, it is what it is. It's just. And I, and I just, I just, you know, first I don't agree with how he's doing, how, what he's doing, what he's saying, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas so used to not promoting they fight, like when they, when it's when it's time to, they don't know what to do. It's like, <laughs> hey, 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 you're you're a uh, uh, you're a reporter looking guy. I see a camera phone. Um, hey, hey, you know about Haney, right? Um, the guy I'm fighting, you, you know he. He, he, they got a loss taken off his record, right? I, I, I <laughs> ask him about that shit. Like, no, bro, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> be my guest. Be my guest. <laughs> but you know, but uh, but we did have a didn't we have a poll uh, we post today for for Tim Zoo? If uh, oh yeah 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 yeah, uh, I seen it. Yeah, well, uh, who would you want to see um, Zoo face next? Basically, it was uh, either 
uh, Bud or uh, Charlo. And we had 21 votes so far, and 81% said Jamel Charlo. 19% said Bud Crawford. So I agree. Damn, y'all whole ass niggas want to see Crawford fight anybody but fucking Boots. Jeez. <laughs> God damn. I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly, Charlo versus Zoo is like, I mean, now that Charlo, I mean, now that Zoo took, has a belt that, you know, if, if, you know, if Charlo wants to become undisputed again, or if he's interested in doing that, I mean, it, it, that fight still has, that still, that fight still has life. Like, I mean, I want to see, cause now I feel like, now I feel it'll be more, even like before when they were talking about fighting before, I mean, obviously I think most of us thought that Charlo would probably put his foot in Zoo's ass. Now I don't think that, like I, you know, I, I, it's I think close. it's close, man. It's real close. It, it's very close. Like if you want, I mean, I give it maybe a fifty-five, forty-five for Charlo, but it, it's yeah, it's, that, it's, it, it's close. The rule of boxing: you're only as good as your last fight. Yeah, and somebody's it, last fight was fucking. Throughout trash. the last two fights, like I, I lean towards like fifty-two, forty-eight zoo. Maybe I don't know, but I mean, Mel, if Mel brings it, but I don't know. It just feels like. Now we just—I'm gonna just call this a 50-50 fight. That's why I voted point. Bud because I know, but then again, Charlo got the belt, so like that makes more sense, and it's, it's been brewing longer. I mean, all I know is like I mean, because I mean, it depends because if, if Charlo's hanging around 154, like there's only so I mean, you know, I mean, obviously because he right now he has three of the belts. Like now, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna have to start facing another error of 154 pounders. And this month, this month been like four of them shits. Yeah, I'm saying like, yeah, dude has fought like so many different eras of 154 pounders. Like this shit is crazy. Like, you know, but I think Zoo is like really the last one. He didn't lap the division. I mean, he pretty much was lapping the division. I, I have a feeling Mel might I, again. I, I know y'all climb my 160 take, but I feel like Mel might go to 160. I don't know. I don't know. I know you got belt some. I mean, there's no until Maul fights. And I think Maul gonna be at 168. I guess it's cool now. I mean. But it, it'll, it'll feel like unfinished business if he don't fight Zoo. This, this ain't like a Carl Frotch Kawasaki thing where Kawasaki already, already transcended and Carl Frotch was kind of getting to the cusp where you're like, eh, like the fight, if the fight happens, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, eh, it's cool. No, this Zoo and Mel, if both of them niggas gonna keep boxing, that has to happen. It's like, Zoo's rise to prominence is too it's too adjacent to damn Charlo's dominance. So it, they have to fight. Like, they have to fight. Yeah, this ain't like a I mean cause that yeah, it, it's not a call Fodge Cows like it's not one of those it's not even a um it's not even a Boots Crawford type of thing. Facts. Like it, it, it would look worse, and I, and I'm a nigga who won Crawford to fight Boots, but it would look worse <laughs> if, if Mel doesn't fight Zoo, and he goes at one sixty whatever. It'll then it duck. would. Would you say it's a duck? <laughs> if he if he dropped the belts and went to one. It depends. If he drops all the belts, I can't say if it's a. I can't say it's a duck. But it depends on who is he fighting to not go back there, right? Because right now, because because of the because of the because of him taking for Canelo now, the orgs are going to be ordering all types of fights for him now. Because like, yeah, okay, you want to do that? So yeah, we, we we got some mandos. We need you to take care of there, bro. Like you know, you gotta get you gotta take some of these mandos off. Yeah. Oh, I would like the call to the duck when someone's fighting a better, a bigger, popper, popular opponent, whatever. But you know, after the fact, it's a little different. You know, unless you're gonna keep fighting killers, like unless you're gonna go to 160 fight Adamas, then I, I don't know if I could call that a duck. If he yeah. fight Janet Beck at 160, I don't. I, I'm not gonna call that a duck. Yeah, it, it really does all depends. I mean, like I said, I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't really. I mean, to me, it wasn't cool for him to be to mislead his hand injury and be like, okay, I'm gonna sign this Canelo fight because he's uh, he, he, he kept him for taking the Canelo bag though. I mean, even yeah, though he, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. I did not come for the performance. That's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can't knock him for taking the. That, that's gonna be in hindsight. That which, if he was gonna fight like that, he shouldn't have took the motherfucker. He probably he probably got paid more than than he'll get paid for like three or four more like two three fights. I'm just saying, like yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. And I mean, he he deserved it. It just we didn't deserve to watch that bullshit. Yeah, right. Because us boxing fans deserve better. I don't know how you influencer right. fans. You know, you, you, maybe Saturday is y'all cup of tea, but nah, nigga, we need fades. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and then of course, like I mean Crawford. I mean, I mean Crawford and Zoo happening. 
I mean, I can see that happening. Um, I mean, if obviously if Mel's get because I know right now the IBF already called Mel's Mando, so it's like, yeah, that's uh, you know, you know, so you know, most likely Mel will probably have to take that fight or be stripped of that belt as well, you know. So I mean, been Mando for a bit, but he's like, a, no offense, to nobody. So it's like, yeah, but at least Crawford. I mean, Crawford is there now. I, I say if Crawford wants a way to one fifty four. I mean, that there's a way because Tim Zoo will obviously that's a big fight. Right. Yeah. yeah, if 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 Crawford doesn't fight Spence or Boots, Zoo is like the next best. That's the only option. I mean, really, it's the, it's the only option you can roll with, right? I mean, the only way I would throw if Virgil Ortiz was already back to normal and beating people's ass, I would put his name up there. But Adam, that's I'm not. Idea. Yeah, yeah, that's I'll idea. say Thurman name before Ortiz. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say Thurman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these niggas got names. It just. You gotta make the fights, but it just yeah, seemed like everybody stuck on giving us one big fight a year. And what would y'all give uh, Crawford a, a chance against Zoo, percentage wise? Um, since we did Charlo, Crawford should beat Zoo. Like, I mean, that's my thing too. Yeah, I'm about. I'm not saying that Zoo won't be competitive, but Crawford should out because you know, as long as I mean, it depends. Obviously, if Crawford wants to go back and you know drop three, four rounds maybe against the likes of uh, of, of Zoo. I mean. You know, I don't think you need to be dropping no damn three, four rounds of fucking zoo. Like, I, honestly, I kind of low key see Crawford zoo maybe as a um, maybe sixty forty for Crawford, maybe fifty fifty. Like, I'm I'm not, I, I'm still not sold on that shit like that. Like, I, like yeah, he handles Spence, but like Spence ain't gonna be Spence and Zoo is like two different animals. Zoo hit harder, more relentless, more physical. Mm-hmm. Punch variety is way better than Spence. So yeah, that's still a hard, good fight. But so if niggas have Crawford ahead or the favorite, I, I think that's appropriate. It's cool, but I don't see him as no big favorite. Like, like that's one of those fights. I just can't say he just wins blindly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, one fifty four against a, a second best guy is a tall task for a guy coming from one thirty five originally. So. Yeah, and it's, it's a physical t- guy, like a guy like it would be the strongest person he's fought. Easily, yeah. Yeah. You're right. But it's a big fight. I wonder if it, if that fight happened because I know Zeus said he's done fighting Australia for now, right? I wonder if that fight would be in Vegas probably, you know what I mean? Yeah, the Vegas dude, dude. Like after you done said all that look, bro. No more going to fucking Australia and subjecting Shutterworth to these worthless cards y'all put on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I yeah, don't like I mean, to be... I mean, you and, 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 are, you, are you niggas on YouTube who's going to hear this shit? On the fucking comments? Yes? Your country puts on trash-ass undercards, nigga. <laughs> Do something about it. God damn. Cause yeah. Zoo's cool. Y'all fighters are cool, but y'all don't put... Y'all don't showcase some niggas like y'all supposed to, like. Yeah, and, and I would say because I mean, Australians are pretty much they. I mean, we we, we mentioned where Australians are making a lot of inroads in boxing, so it's not like I mean, we, we're putting respect on their names. Yeah, it's like for some reason, like, like a lot of times when niggas realize like their entity or their country or their area is is getting lit or they're getting they got the buzz, the momentum. They try to make the most of it, and they start grabbing everybody. Like, okay, yo, put this nigga on here. Put the, you right. see, you see, taking them, do it for DC. Niggas, niggas dragged up Lamont Peterson from out of nowhere. Yeah, just like yeah, like, like no. that's what you, they they do that. They say we gonna make events. This, this, that, that, that. Oh, oh, Cali, Cali's popping. Okay, just, just, but it's like Australia for some reason when y'all start popping and y'all get y'all guy. Y'all niggas, y'all just, y'all don't say like, okay, we gonna make this the biggest, craziest event, grab this nigga, we gonna have this fight. No, y'all just say, all right, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, we gonna have foot soldiers, putties, um, what other, uh, doppelgangers, cannon fodder, like, y'all just start cutting money with the bullshit to throw together, and it's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I do hey, like yeah. the one thing I will say. I do like the 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 Showtime um setup of like uh the little um studio they have. You know, if they had a guy in there, you know, like remember last time they had Jamel Charlo in there, it was pretty cool. Like the little setup with them yeah. in that little building. Showtime, the only one holding it down for that professionalism. Be, hey, that could be the last time we see Show the, the Showtime. You know, you get the triple header. That might be the last time we see a free Showtime. You know, not free, but a Showtime subscription card, maybe. Right. Hopefully, well, not. yeah. Yeah, so it's but 
but then what everyone said that like you know it's like all valid like yeah you got to yeah, australia yeah if you want to put your best talent on there instead of just like you know like because i know in australia that that t- the tim's shit was a pay-per-view which for them which was kind of crazy so <laughs> oh wow that was a p- lord have mercy yeah that was a pay-per-view for them like I that's what y'all that's your best effort for pay-per-view jeez but yeah yeah australia australia yeah australia getting yeah the australia cards yeah they'll i mean maybe one day they'll prove but right now it's only right now a few australian fighters that are popping like that where individually they can carry their own fight but i don't think there's not enough of y'all to make a card yeah like you know i mean yeah I so y'all y'all invest in some good co-mains or something like mm-hmm. you know like <laughs> enough let's just next <laughs> 